Good morning, everyone. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Late last night, the town of Sparta, near the Virginia border there in North Carolina, was rocked once again by a magnitude 2.4 earthquake. EMSC says it was a magnitude 2.6. They don't have any felt reports, but these two earthquakes did have a few people rattled. Shortly afterwards, at approximately 11.33 p.m., there was a magnitude 2.1. 31 people reported feeling that earthquake, whereas the magnitude 2.4, 79 people on USGS reported feeling that earthquake. USGS says these are all aftershocks after the August magnitude 5.1. There was a lot of damage from that 5.1. Initially, they said there was not much, but there was. Initially, there was over 500 reports of damage. 60 cases of those reports was major damage with losses to property over 40% in value. According to Fox News, many of the reports of this recent set of earthquakes said it lasted for about 10 to 15 seconds. Here is the location of late last night's magnitude 2.4. This is within the Southern Appalachian Seismic Zone. I'll bring it out, and I got it drawn out in green. There you go. See that green line? And it does extend. It's a large area for that seismic zone. From West Virginia all the way down here to South Carolina and parts of Georgia. In Alabama. The 2.4, which on EMSC says was a magnitude 2.6, was one kilometer in depth, according to them, whereas USGS says it was 0.0, .0 kilometers in depth, and all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Here we have some of the felt reports. It's pretty small right now because I got it zoomed out because uh, there's a report all the way up here by Virginia. There's another one down here in Tennessee, but most of them are within this location here. We got 18 responses there. We got 24 there. Uh, one there, 17 there, one there, um, one down here, and up by Bristol, we got one response there. The 2.1, which 31 people said they felt felt the earthquake, had one report as far south as Charlotte by Lake Norman, but most of the other reports um, came from within um, the area of that city. Let's see, we got 14 there, 11 there, and one there, and three there. Within this seismic uh, zone, it is capable of having, you know, moderately to large earthquakes. Back in 1852, there was a magnitude 5.2. In 1897, there was a magnitude 5.9. In 1916, there was also a 5.2. In all, I believe there's been five events of a magnitude 5.0 or greater. Uh, going back to um, when people started settling in this location. And I believe the first earthquake ever reported within this seismic zone was in 1776. According to this paper, which has a list of historical earthquakes in the Southern Appalachian Seismic Zone, the earthquake in 1776 was on November 5th and was a magnitude 3.1. We got 1852 in Virginia, a 5.0, and I'll bring it down for you to see. Let's see, 1861, a 4.9. Um, May 31st, 1897 was a magnitude 5.6. And I'll see if I can find the other ones. We got a 4.0, Spruce Pine, North Carolina. 1926, 
um, a Four Point Nine Hot Springs, North Carolina, 1928, November 3rd. Let's see. And that's all I see. But they said there was uh, four on this paper. But this other one that's not documented um, last year would make it five. All right. Waynesville, North Carolina, a 5.1, 1916, February 21st. And the last earthquake they have listed was September 13, 1976, as a 4.0. According to USGS and other scientists, the probability of having a magnitude 6.0 earthquake or greater could occur within the next 50 years is 25 to 50% chance. Yeah, 25 to 50%. That's a very wide uh, speculation. I believe the nuclear power plants built within this seismic zone and the um, New Madrid seismic zone are built for a safety standard of a magnitude 6.0. And there's also the Rampopo seismic zone that extends along the coast of the United States here. So did you feel this earthquake? If so, please put your comments down below. Um, did you have damage? Did you have damage from the uh, other earthquake, the 5.1? If so, please put your comments down below. And please fill out the report on USGS. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.